so we are on a normal video well sort of normal what is ever normal in my world but that i haven't done postcards home for two weeks because i've been busy with the advent so this is the last one that i did with you we talked about the um on the ceiling or off the wall or something the old calendar from last year and I still haven't found my postcard stamp, so it's blank at the moment, but I will find it and do it. But I have filled it in. So that was week 49, which was the off the wall calendar or off the ceiling. I'm not quite sure. And then this one I've just done with all pieces of scraps out of my scraps box. So we've got some old um, font there. This is a shabby dabby doodah picture frame. There's some butterflies in the background. And chic. That's off that wallpaper that's a bookshelf. And there's just some dyed paper there. And that all came about from looking at the Defemerembra. <laughs> I didn't think I'd struggle with that. December Ember project that uh, Louise Heinzel and 49 Dragonflies are doing. And if you have looked at my Instagram, you'll see that I did this postage stamp dangle for day eight. Now it said beads postage stamp dangle. Well, I just put some beads into a resin mould, I put an old stamp in, I filled it up with resin and waited for it to dry and then I've just put it on a bit of um, fabric with a bit of bling in the middle and then I've got one of those like yan lan yard um, clips there so I can put that onto a journal or whatever. So that was what I did for day eight. Now day nine which is today I'm don't know how, but I'm actually on target. Says collage fodder junk mail. So I thought, how appropriate. I would do last week's in all these odd scraps and make a collage. So that's what I've done there. And that is week 50, which relates to the 1st of December. And I've just written, yes, it's the most wonderful time of year because I love Christmas. And again, Still no postcard stamp. So now we are on today, the 8th of December, week 51. Okay. Now, week 51 means that we've actually gained a week somehow. Don't know how. Because <laughs> it should be week 50. But hey-ho, it is what it is. So, because I'm doing the December and I didn't use any, or only the prompts, I didn't use any of the animals. And if you've seen them, I've used the animals all out of sync. I've not done what Barbara and Louisa are doing. Um, so I'm going to use this toucan. And the reason I'm going to use this toucan is because I've got these two stamps that have got red in. And I think the colour matches very well. And whilst this is not actually junk mail, because it was a Christmas card that was sent to me by a dear friend. Thank you, Sarah. It is now junk because obviously I've opened it and taken the letter out of it or the card. So I'm going to open it up because what I thought I would do is I would make like a double postcard. So I'm going to keep the top bit so that I can use this stamp somewhere else. Stamps are quite precious to it, precious to us junk journalists. So I'm just gonna pull that off and keep that to use. Oh, and then um, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna roughly tear it because I don't want it to uniform. Um, Maybe a bit more off there. See, this always happens. I always get these sharp points. Is that something you suffer with? Or is it just me? 
Right, so I've got rid of all those bits and pieces. And what I thought I would do, I'll turn it around this way, is I would make this into like a double postcard or an envelope on the front and a postcard on the back. So I'm going to put my stamps up there in that corner, like that. I'm going to put this there for the address. I'm going to put it over a bit like that. And then I thought I could fussy cut Mr. Toucan. Whenever I see a toucan, it always reminds me of the old Guinness adverts. So I'm just going to fussy cut tightly round his head. And then loosely round the bottom to capture that sort of background that's been given to us with um, the branch that he's sitting on and sort of leafy type pattern. You can faintly see some lines in here where my printer was messing around and then back tight round his head again so get rid of that excess and then I'm just going to trim round oh how far have I got oh all the way round there okay Unfortunately, I can't, I'm thinking, desperately trying to think about the Guinness advert. I can't remember. The Toucan used to say something. Well, I think it was quite a naughty Toucan, but I can't think what he used to say. Right, I just need to turn this around the other way for a minute. So maybe actually Mr. Toucan needs to go this side and the address needs to go in the middle like that. Yeah, I'm actually going to take a bit more off of here, like so. And as I say, this is sent to me, so I'm not too worried about showing the address because it's my address. <laughs> and then we got the stamp. For, I like it. I like it a lot. So these are always short and sweet, aren't they? These um, postcards home, and this is certainly short and sweet. So, get my purple glue that I'm still loving. Um, this is the one that comes from Tesco's. So, I'm just going to glue this up. Put this on the bottom right hand although it looks left hand because the way you're looking at it Let's glue up our stamps because obviously they're not sticky anymore and i was very lucky because these came on a swap but there was about six of them for some reason um so yeah i've got lots of them to use While I'm talking about posting, those of you that are in the UK, have you seen the latest update? You need to get a first class post out by the 16th. See, I like that. I think that's cute. Um, by the 16th of December, if you want it there for Christmas. And second class by the 12th. So if you've got posts to go, you need to think about, um, as my mum would say, pulling your finger out and getting on with it. <laughs> so I'm going to just tear out this bottom bit that says Toucan and give some credit to Louise and Barbara because it's got their details on it. 
and I'm going to put this on the back. You know sometimes when you buy a postcard at like a museum or whatever, there's often details on the back of it, isn't there? So I think I'm going to put these at the bottom there because obviously I'm going to want to put my postcard bit at the top now if I ever find that stamp. <laughs> so I'm going to put that. Oops, sorry about that. I'm going to put that down the bottom there. And we're going to say that we have fulfilled for today's collaboration challenge because we have followed the prompts by collage fodder and junk mail. But we have also managed to do our Friday postcard homes. That's quite clever, isn't it? We've done two jobs in one there. And that is now going to be going into my box. But before I put it in my box, I'm going to put a postmark on those stamps. They have been postmarked because they've been through the post. But I'm going to do them again just so that it's on my actual artwork and then that one goes there like that so there you go there's this week's postcard home as always i hope you have a magnificent weekend doing whatever you're doing I'd like to thank you for spending your time with me and i look forward to seeing you again soon ta-ta for now